Hey Seekers, it's your friendly queer couple on a mission to visit every region of Italy. We are currently in Sicily and in the last vlog we discovered a strange place. Today's vlog instead will be so exciting, but also so, so tough. Good morning Seekers! Good morning! This morning, actually, we woke up super early It was 6.30, about 6.30 and so woke up so early. <laughs> yeah, I prepared some breakfast, we need some energy today and I prepared lunch actually and also we prepared our backpacks and after doing all this preparation, where are we? We are at Riserva dello Zingaro, which is a trekking, um, a hike on the coast. Yeah! And we are so excited. We have to pay a little bit to, to get into the Riserva, but this time is worth, definitely worth it. Let's hope the weather doesn't get super bad, um, because it's really awesome. The hiking begins. Angie wanted to leave uh, one bottle of water in the van and we'll probably see later if it was a bad idea, <laughs> if we are gonna die of uh, no water in our body. <laughs> Now that we are in the Riserva dello Zingaro, we are gonna try to explain you a little bit the paths we are gonna hike on and explain a little bit how it is made. We entered from the south entrance, but you can either enter from the north, north one or the south one. It's the same, pretty much. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> And from the south entrance, we are gonna hike first this morning on the middle coast path, which is gonna take us about... Uh, Four hours. Yeah. Google says that, but <laughs> we're not sure. We read online that there were no water taps, but actually on the map there are many of them, so we'll see. And coming back, once we finish the middle path, which is the one that allows you to see all the nice views on the Calette, we are gonna hike back through instead the, the really coastal one, the, the path on the coast which is gonna take uh, two hours uh, okay. maybe yeah so about six hours of hiking and coming back we are gonna visit all the caletta that this amazing reserva has and i'm excited for that i'm so excited for that The hiking has begun. <sighs> Two minutes on the path and we're already stopping and drinking. <laughs> That's funny. This path, it looked super simple from the map, but instead it's super difficult. We have stopped maybe 10 times because we are not sure we are on the right path. It looks too steep to be the medium one, but maybe we are at the end of the reserve because we can see the fence here and we cannot figure it out where it ends. Maybe we are here instead of being here. We have decided to continue on this path because going down and then having to go back up is worse. So we go up a little bit more. There is a man cutting some grass and we may ask him uh, for directions or let's try to figure this out on our own. Let's see. Uh, not well signed, eh? right? Right. I just went up to ask the man cutting the grass if it's the right path and we are actually on the right path. We passed through like six or seven maybe yeah. men cutting oh. the grass. Yeah. yeah, they were working and they were all giving us cheering. Yeah, yeah, go slow and you'll make it. Okay, 
So we are on the right path. Now we should uh, encounter two roads diverging and we have to choose the one, the right one. Yeah. The um, middle coast one. I didn't, I didn't think it was that hard. Anyway, they were super nice. They told us that the hardest part is just gone, but I'm not sure because I'm not sure if you can trust them. Anyway, the view is getting better. Yeah, a lot of better. She was like upset of the view because we were in the bash coming up, but now it's getting better. The big advantage of uh, bringing with you a grail is that even though the water is not drinkable, you can still refill it while filtering it. Super easy process. <laughs> Maybe where we are <laughs> until tomorrow. Big fail, there's no water. <laughs> We are a little scared because the path we just went on on the map was like tiny like this and <laughs> it didn't seem like so short and we are worried of the path ahead which is probably gonna be super long either here in Sicily everybody is so athletic and we are super out of shape <laughs> but I don't think it neither. I think we improved a lot in our walking skills since we left on the 15th of March. But maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> now it's better. And it's full, full of flowers, guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Bud is fucking here. We gotta give it a try. Finally, we have a sign! Where we are? We are here! That's great. We are almost there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It starts raining. Yeah! Perfect. We are so tired, it's so hot and we don't know where we are exactly. Here there is Matt dying. My back is broken. The backpacks are heavy. Come on guys, let's go to the beach. Ah, and it stopped raining. That over there is... Gorgo Cusenza. Seekers, we've made it. We are in the Borgo. It was definitely harder than I thought. It was uh, 
really really long and now we gotta find a paved road that will bring us to the north entrance and from there we are gonna take the path on the coast We are here hoping that we do not have to climb also this mount here. My shoulders are aching so much. I've been dreaming of doing the PCT for years, but I'm rethinking it. Let me see the... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. We have to go down there then. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We are at the caves, we don't know the name. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them how our legs feel. Bad, so, so bad. They are so sore and so jelly. Yeah, like jellyfish. What are you thinking about? I'm so tired. Me too. Let's go to the beach, beach. Hi, Menji. <laughs> I'm mad. We were wondering why they were so black, the trees, and we found out. They have been burned. burned. Yeah. We are getting there. We are finally on the coastal path. We have asked a man working at the museum and we found a little a museum. Man. Yeah, a local man. Why these trees are so black? And he said to us that two years ago everything burned and now what you can see has been regrown in two years. Yeah. Which is crazy. Crazy and amazing. Yeah. And now let's go to the first caleta and let's die. Bye, Matt. Bye, bye. See you later. Mission water. Walking with no backpack is actually really, really nice. And just the water bottles and the map. Great water fountain. Now we have the water and we can continue exploring the Calette. Happy! I just found 50 cent again. <laughs> She's crazy. I don't know how she makes it. Probably she is still dropping the same coin over and over again and... No. <laughs> anyway, we have water and now we are gonna continue explore some other Calettes. Since now it's been a few minutes, um, I would say one hour now that we have been on the coast path. coast path, we can give you our opinion. The coast path is more panoramic than the panoramic 
path. Yeah, we did the middle cost on one way and in our opinion it's not worth the effort. We were saying now that we are so tired by that path that we are not really enjoying how beautiful this reserva is because it's really really stunning. Yeah. So definitely come here but our advice is that if you are super athletic yeah, you, you can do the panoramic path. But you gotta be super athletic yeah. because it's, uh, it's long and difficult, let's say. N not difficult, but tiring. Tiring. Really, yeah. really tiring. And otherwise, enjoy the, the one on the coast because you are not missing anything no. on the panoramic point of view. Because it's perfect. You see everything. You see the coastline. You, it's so much better i don't know why everywhere everywhere really everywhere, yeah on the internet said the middle coast path is beautiful is panoramic it would be great i mean if that was the only option to see the calette but since you have such an amazing path that you can do so much easier you get the chance to enjoy more the the walking we were planning on seeing all the calette but we cannot make we it make we it. are so tired that and it took us a lot of time because it took us more than four hours that was written online and instead you keep the energy to visit all the calette that are all stunning yeah. yeah like the first one we saw from above was beautiful the second one we have been for lunch is great and now we're gonna see another one but there are many more so definitely the the, the path on the coast yeah. We changed after the dip, so we are a little bit cleaner and we are heading back to the van. It's super windy, as you can tell, but it's hot. The wind is hot, so, so it's very nice. <laughs> The wind is crazy, guys. Ooh. We are back! We are finished! I'm dead. Now we're gonna look for a parking spot and no. we're gonna cook dinner. But for now, it's everything. See you in the next vlog. Good night, seekers. Good night!